Hey everybody, this is Tiggy Maximus with Tiggy Maximus Talks, episode 88 on YouTube. Um, thank you guys for listening to all these episodes, or most of these episodes, or some of these episodes. Um, I appreciate it. Um, also, if you also listen to my Spotify podcast, remember to follow and like the episodes, and if you feel like it... Um, Try to go through as much of the episodes as you want. Um, I get credit for every single time somebody listens to the episodes. So please do that. And if you feel like doing it, um, there is a link if you want to make a small contribution to my podcast. Anything is appreciated. So thank you again, guys, for listening. And follow me on this little podcast journey. Um, I just want to get on it pretty quickly. Um... Just want to make some picks for UFC Fight Night, uh, Charlotte, Rosenstruck versus Almeida. Um, I, the fact that this was an early card, so I can only really talk and make some predictions about whatever fights are remaining. So, um, so since right now Rodriguez is fighting Gary right now, Gary is the favorite, but. Um, I, I I would just simply tell you guys that I'm picking Gary over Rodriguez. So um, from the looks of it, I'm thinking Gary might have won round one. So, um, but, you know, we'll see what happens how this fight goes. But there are two other fights on the main card. Uh, your main event is a heavyweight fight between Rosenstruck and Almeida. Should be a good one. Almeida is your favorite. I am picking Almeida to beat Rosenstruck. I think Rosenstruck is one dimensional. I think Almeida has a little more um, than just some power, plus the ability maybe to get out of the way. Um, the other one is a co main event um, Anthony Smith versus Johnny Walker. That one's a good light heavyweight fight. I do like both fighters, but I am leaning towards Anthony Smith, and he should get the victory over Johnny Walker. So those are my picks for UFC Fight Night. Those three fights on the main card. Um, last night, I got to tell you guys, um, I got to... Well, I got to watch the highlights, actually. I was at a comedy show last night. But Lakers, they finished their business. They closed out the Golden State Warriors. Defeated them last night, 122-101 in Game 6. Finished it at home. And uh, the Lakers won the series, best of seven, four games to two. So the seven seed Los Angeles Lakers will be now be facing the uh, number one seed in the West in the Western Conference Finals, the Denver Nuggets. That should be an explosive, fun series. I'm going to try to watch all the games best possible. Hopefully the Lakers win in six. Um, Nuggets took care of business. They defeated the uh, Phoenix Suns, who were the four seed. Beat them four to two. Um, that whole transaction to get Kevin Durant to be on the same team as CP3 and Devin Booker, it, it got them to the second round, but um, they just couldn't handle the Denver Nuggets. just too much for them. And Kevin Durant might be past his prime now, and uh, he couldn't carry the team anymore uh, along with Devin Booker. So, I mean, they're a contender, but they're not going to be in the Final Four for the way things are. So a lot of restructuring needs to be done, plus the future of, you know, CP3, Kevin Durant, and uh, Devin Booker. So on the other side, you still have a Game 7. It's the only series that has not been resolved yet. It's the two-seed Celtics of the East and the three-seed Philadelphia 76ers in the East. They're going back and forth, and it is going to be a fun Game 7 game series. Game 7 on Mother's Day is going to be... The game to watch of all Sunday. So, um, also, you know, Padres and Dodgers are playing this weekend. So, hopefully, Padres will get the win tonight and tomorrow, win the best, um, win the three game series. Um, the XFL championship is actually tonight at five o'clock. The Arlington Renegades, um, your champions of the uh, XFL South um, division. Uh, they upset the uh, Houston Roughnecks, took their spot. Their Roughnecks were supposed to be favored to go into the finals 
against the North Division winners, the DC Defenders, who took care of their own business. It should have been Erland, um, the Houston Roughnecks versus the uh, DC Defenders, but the Erlington Renegades at 4-6 and six did not want to lay down, and they made it tough for the Roughnecks, and they actually beat them. And so the DC Defenders, um, they defeated the Seattle Sea Dragons for the North Division Championship. So, um, DC Defenders, Arlington Renegades, this should be a fun one actually, because now that the Arlington Renegades may not be laying down for the DC Defenders at either, because, you know, they're going to play spoiler. And, um, but I'm still picking the DC Defenders to win the XFL Championship tonight. Um, but it should be a good one. Um, hopefully the DC Defenders take care of business. And of course, you got some NHL playoff action going on. Here you have the Hurricanes finishing four games to one over the Jer Jersey Devils. And you got the surprise for the Panthers winning four games to one over the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Who also... Panthers also beat the Boston Bruins, who were the best regular season team of his in history, but couldn't handle the Florida Panthers. Neither could the Toronto Maple Leafs, who were also favorites to win the Stanley Cup, too. They am pulling for the Hurricanes to beat the Panthers, though, so uh, go Hurricanes. Also, on the other side, you still have two game sixes to worry about on the Western Conference. You got the Golden Knights of Vegas. They're up 3-2 to two on the Edmonton Oilers. And you got the um, Dallas Stars leading 3-2 on the Seattle Kraken. So I am pulling for the Oilers. Come back and beat the Golden Knights. Um, but if not, if the Golden Knights were to play the Stars, I'll be okay with that. And hopefully, you know, uh, let's say... Hurricanes defeat the Golden Knights. So, um, so there you go, guys. Um, so those are my picks, my thoughts on sports today. On my next episode, I guess it'll be episode, um, what is it, uh, episode 89? Because this is episode 88, right? So, uh, I'll be talking about comedy shows, um, I'm going to another one tonight, actually. I'm going to have to haul ass from the Mermesa High School gym because the Sangua Sharks um, professional basketball team is hosting a, ba a basketball game at the Mermesa High School gym against the Long Beach Blue Wave. So I look forward to that game tonight. I might have some people coming with me. But then I have to haul ass. I'll say hi to the owners. Maybe take a picture with them. Maybe one of the players. And hopefully... San Diego wins tonight. Go Sharks. And uh, I'll ask to see Neil Nanda at the American Comedy Company in downtown San Diego at 9.30-ish. Also, uh, I know that Raymond Montoya is also performing as on the same show. So I'm going to try to see him as well. Um, but yeah, should be a fun Saturday night. XFL action, UFC action, comedy shows. Uh, San Diego Sharks basketball, professional basketball. So, this is Dickie Maximus signing off. Listen, follow, um, like, donate, whatever you guys want to do. I appreciate it. I appreciate them all. Listen to all the episodes that you can. And uh, Dickie Maximus signing off. Booyaka!